And in today's clip, we're gonna have a look on the frozen punch in karate. So, we all seen that most of the karate people do this at the beginning of the strike. And then we're gonna block. Yeah, it's a little bit unrealistic. Uh, I think that uh, this position holding of the and comes back from a misunderstanding of human behavior and the uh, nervous system. Martin, give you a keep tapping my shoulder, okay? So Martin's pulling activity that hand back. So when I do this, that hand stays either here or either there. So although he knows what I do, but he doesn't know what I do, you see? And then I can do and grab. So imagine I would go to somebody who's uh, talking to us, before strike, he's reaching towards us, trying to push us, shove us, and we manage to do something. That arm is going to stay for a second, a split second. That gives me a chance to let's say grab it, right? That's why in kata, you've got a proactive part, then you've got a counter, right? So if we, we like this, I feel that he's going to attack me and I'm going to do this, his hands go going to be for a split second free, frozen there because he has to compute what's going on, right? So from here I can go doing something, right? It doesn't work in a boxing setup where we spar, right? Because he knows I'm going to punch him back, right? So he, he, punch, he knows that it's going to be. So even if I touch him, he's ready to counter. But in kind of a, we don't know each other, we don't know what to do, I don't show any really signs of wanting to fight with him. I am uh, kind of relaxed and sorry I don't want any problems. He tries to shove me, then he jumps. Even he knew what I'm gonna do. He's still frozen, right? Surprise! And I think that's the two key principles of karate. The preemptive strike, which by law allows me to do it if I'm threatened, I'm allowed to hit first. And then I've got my action, right? So Kata tells me, bosh, lock, or bosh, yeah? So I'm going to come here, one, pulling, right? That gives me time that hands are frozen, right? So in training, please don't do this, and hold so your partner can do. Do a strike a little bit longer, hover there, but comes back, right? That's how we do it in our club. So the time coming from Martin, he doesn't freeze like that. He goes in, comes back. So I've got a little bit of a um, problem with doing it, right? So I'm going, then I can touch. Because he left me, instead of going super fast, it's dead, right? But he's moving up and back. So he can do stuff for me, but he needs to counter up that pulling back motion. So it's not, I've been frozen in time. It's me moving and responding, right? So he's punching, I'm moving there. I have to move, he's responding. He's not punched, and then I go, ha! <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this uh, little clip of this book, uh, and please feel free to like, subscribe, and share. But if you really have to, you can dislike it. I take any. Right? Thanks, Gary. <laughs> On every clip, you have to go up onto something. <laughs> right? I'm just book, uh, and you can do it again. <laughs> when I block myself.